let's look at a few word problems here where we will be combining percents. So this is a very typical scenario. You go to the store and you buy something, you're going to have to pay tax on it. And right now the tax is 5% GST and 7% PST. So if you purchased a pair of shorts for $39.99, and we're charged 5% GST and 7% PST. This, this is the federal tax and this is the provincial tax. The question is, what would be the total cost for the shorts, including the taxes? So really, if you're paying 5% and 7% tax, that's a total of 5 plus 7, which is 12% tax. So as far as you're concerned, yes, there are two different taxes, but really there's one tax of 12%. So if we wanted to know what the tax was, really what we want is what's 12% of 3999. And we know how to do this now. We convert the percent to a decimal, so move it to the left two places, so that's 0 0.12 of means times 39.99. And so 0 0.12 times 39.99 means there'll be a total tax of $4.80. So $4.80 would be the taxes. So the total cost would be the 39.99 plus the four dollars and eighty cents so plus the thirty nine ninety nine is a total of forty four dollars and seventy nine cents and of course that's what you would pay at the till so you pick up the shorts on the on the, the shelf for thirty nine ninety nine you'd have a tax of $4.80 and the total cost would be $44.79 when you add that together. Now if we if we want to know the total cost one of the shortcuts ways we can do this is this when we went 12% of $39.99 that found us the tax and then we had to take the tax and we had to add that tax plus the regular price if we wanted to, if we just wanted to know what the final price was, we'd have to convert the 12% to a decimal, which is 0.12. But if we put a 1 in front of it, and we go 1.12 times 39.99, then that'll take us directly to the total price. So if I go 1.12 times 39.99, oops, missed the decimal in there. See, we get the forty-four seventy-nine, same as our answer right here, forty-four dollars seventy-nine cents. So what this one does is it is it keeps the thirty-nine ninety-nine. So this is like the um, the the regular price of the item, thirty-nine ninety-nine, and this is sort of plus the tax. So. If the question was just what's the total cost for the shorts, including the taxes, we really don't need to actually find the tax. It, the question didn't ask us what was the tax, it says what was the total cost. So total cost is always going to be 1 plus the percent or 1 plus the tax. So if the tax is 12%, I can go 1 plus 12%, which is 1.12, and then multiply that by 39.99. Or you could do it this way, just find the tax first and then do the extra step of adding the tax to the total. Um, but if you add the one here, this will this will add the regular price and then the 0.12 would add the tax. So 1.12 means we're going to take this original amount here and we're going to increase it by 12% to get $44.79.
Here's another example. Let's say we are going to purchase a tablet for the regular price though is $350, but the store took 15% off in the first week, and the next week they took an additional 10% off the regular price in the second week. So the question now is what's the cost of the discounted tablet? Well I could add these two percent. So if they're just going to take 15% off the regular price and then an additional 10% off the regular price, then really what they've done is they've taken 25% off the regular price. So again, one way we could do this is we could go, okay, let's figure out how much they took off. Oops. I want to know what is 25% of $350? Because it says they took 25% off. So 25% of 350 is 0 0.25 times 350. So 0.25 times 350 is $87.50. So that's what they took off. So that means now the cost or the sale price would be $350 minus $87.50. And so, the cost of the tablet is now $262.50. So that was the discount here, and then we took the regular price and subtracted the discount to get the total cost. Again, we could do this in one step. If you're paying 25% off of the price, we would need to take 1 and subtract 25%. So if you take the regular price, which is 100%, and we take 25% off, then really what you're paying is 75% of the regular price. That's what you have to pay. If it's discounted by 25% off, you're paying 75% of the regular price. So that's 1 minus 25%. So notice in this question, this question was you're charged an extra 12%. So that was 1 plus the 12%, right? 1 plus the 12% because you were adding 12%, and that gave 1.12. Here in this question, if we want to use the shortcut way of doing things, we're getting 25% off. So that's 1 minus 25%, or 100% minus 25%, which is 75% and then converting that to a decimal and multiplying takes us to the two hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents which of course is the same answer over here but we didn't have to do the extra step of actually finding out what the discount would be How about this question? If the population of Boomtown was 45,000 and the population grew by 10% in the first year and then by 12% in the second year, what's the population of the town at the end of the second year? Now in this question, we've got to be careful. We can't just add these percents together and say, oh, 10 plus 12 is 22%, so it grew by 22%. That's not true because what's going to happen is it's going to grow by 10% in the first year. So you can imagine adding 10% more people in the first year. But in the second year, it's going to add another 12%, not to the 45, but 12% to whatever the population is after the first year. So we've got to do this in two separate questions because or two separate steps because we can't just add these percents together. We're not taking 12% of the original. That's not happening. It's 12% after the first year. So right now, the, the, sorry, right now the population, we'll say P-O-P-N, abbreviation for population, 
Right now the population is 45,000. Let's figure out what it is at the end of the first year. So in the first year it grew by 10%. So I want to know what is 10% of 45,000. Or I could just go, I'm increasing grew, so that's plus 10%. So I want 1.10 of times 45,000. So let's go one, let's do this shortcut first. 1.1 1.1 times 45,000. Now the population is 49,500. So if I if I did this the longer way, I'd figure out how much did it grow by. So what's 10% of 45,000? That's 0 0.10 times 45,000, which would be 4,500 people, so the total population would now be 45,000 plus 4,500, which is 4,900, sorry, 49,500 people, same as, as this. So that's after the first year. Now we've got to figure out what is the population at the end of the second year. Well, this time it's 12% of whatever the population is after the end of the first year. So what we want is 12% of 49,500, which is 0 0.12 times 49,500. So that would be, keep having to move the calculator. So 12% of 49,500 would be 0 0.12 times 49,500. So the, now the population would grow by 5,940. What was that number again? 5,940. That's how much the population grew by. So in the second year, we would have 49,500 plus 5,940. For 55,440, and again, if I'm growing something by 12%, increasing by 12%, it would have been much easier to just go 1.12, so that would grow our number by 12% of the first year population. And just to show you again that this would give us that same answer, 55,440. It does the adding for us when we put the one in front. So this would be the population of Boomtown at the end of the Let's look at this final example. A snowboard has a regular price of $575. It was discounted by 25% in the first week, and in the second week, the store took an additional 25% off the sale price. So this question's different. Of course, what's the sale price now? This question's different, though, than the one that we did here. So see the subtle difference here? Here it was 15% off in the first week, an additional 10% off the regular price. That was this price right here. So that's why we could add these two percents together and say really it's just 25% off the regular price because both of these discounts were based on the regular price. Whereas this one is 25% off the regular price, but the second week it says the store took 25% off the sale price. So it's not 25% off this. So we can't actually add those two percents together and just do it all in one question. We have to split this up.
So I need to take 25% of 575. So that's 0 0.25 times 575. 0.25, come on, 0 0.25 times 575. So they're going to take $143.75 off. Sorry, $143.75 off. So the new price now is 575 minus 143.75. So 575 minus, see this is what we're taking off. Most calculators have a little answer button in here. So it saves you having to punch all that in. So 575 minus answer. See if you can find the answer button on your calculator. And then, um, so 575 minus 143.75 means we're at $431.21. What was that? Sorry. $431.25. So that's the discount at the end of the first week. So now we've got to take an additional 25% off the sale price, which is this price. So I want 20% of $431.25. So that's 0 0.20 times 431.25. times, I'm going to use the answer button again, so I don't have to punch all that in. So now they're going to take off $86.25. So $431.25 minus $86.25. So that's 431.25 minus answer, 86.25. So $345 would be the, what did I say? $345 would be the final sale price at the or the sale price at the end of the second week. So there's a few examples on how we can combine percents.